How big do you think that thing's gonna get? Oh, <laughs> oh what the heck? You get the crash good though. Don't let the people down. And then just flip it. Yeah. You guys can vote to see if I crashed it better or if Paul crashed it better. Hey, was... Paul, that doesn't make any sense. So Paul is putting a pipe on a spree. Uh, I will give him credit. He did a good job cutting the pipe up. Check this out. Aluminum, steel, steel. So this little fella thinks I can weld aluminum and steel here. Express, which he bought brand new, which is pretty cool. And I said it's faster than Paul's spree. All right, let's go. Oh, uh, first gear. Ah! Hey, what are you doing, Paul? Can you explain to me? We're actually uh, creating a custom expansion chamber. Yeah, but this is this is supposed to be our stunt scooter. It is. It won't hurt it. It's actually gonna make it faster. Is it? We get to ride it down the street. How big do you think that thing's gonna get? I don't know. We'll have to find out. <laughs> I mean, I guess that we have to. I'm cool. I'm gonna cool my burn. Look at that. You can see the skin. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna cool it. In, it I'm gonna cool it in the garbage Straight water. It's a good thing we have John's drum out here. Do you have the? Do you have the uh, good battery in here? No battery. No battery. Okay, start her up. What's wrong, Paul? Oh, it's not doing anything. Give her the goose. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that was definitely worth it. Oh. Damn. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> you sure you don't want to ride this, Dustin? <laughs> <laughs> Paul, what the heck? What? You're cutting into company margins. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You hit the crash good, though. Don't let the people down. Okay, I'm gonna like, just go ride it. No. I want you to pull, do a wheelie in the grass as hard as you can. And then just flip it? Yeah. Alright. Is that what you're going to do? Mm -hmm. I'm going to jump. Let's go. I want you to jump it as you land, grab the front brakes. Oh wait, there are no front brakes. I'll grab the front brakes, but it's not going to stop. Paul says he's going to hurt himself, Pat, and I'm here to watch. He's going to hurt himself. Feel that thing. What? He's going to jump the, the bike in the grass. It's a bad idea. Are you ready? We need a full like uh, armor suit for for really doing this. So far, I. You are I, not. Brenda is not responsible for the pain you inflict on yourself. No. No. Monetary gain. I would like to state that I crashed it the best. You guys can vote to see if I crashed it better or if Paul crashed it better. <laughs> Ghost riding it, that doesn't mean anything because anybody can ghost ride a scooter. Oh, sounds like. <laughs> yeah, it is. Go, I want you to like fishtail out in the grass. See if you can. Oh, there's cops. All right, hit it. Yeah, I told you it was a cop. He's not even watching. Go. Come on. Put me in a baby. I'm not liable if he, if he like dies doing this, am I? Oh, oh we're not gonna see him. Hey! Did you miss it? Yeah, because he went behind the van. Come on, Paul. Oh, uh oh. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> hey! No! Paul, that doesn't make any sense. Just jumping off the bike. Jumping off the bike doesn't help, Paul. That doesn't mean anything. Paul, what what do you think we should do with this fine okay. machine? Well, can I just uh, explain the options to the viewers? Yeah. Okay. 
So option number one is destroy it more until it's completely destroyed. More than it already is? More than it already is. What's Add all this? More, some grass. Okay. There's some grass in here too. Okay. Just one more. Um, or we could turn it into a jet ski. Okay. We could sell it for monetary gain. Yeah. Which, eh, whatever. Yeah. Or um, if we decide we're going to destroy it, we could put all the nitrous we can. To we do have nitrous, nitrous too. And we could put like sand in the oil. That's, yeah. We've done that before. Have we? I have. Yeah. Well, what about, what about giving it to a homeless person? That could be an option. What if we gave it to a viewer? <laughs> Just said, hey, anyone who wants it, come get it. High quality Chinese plastic oh, yeah. here. Paul, don't you make stop. it any worse. What are you doing? You Jeez. Just kicked it, so I kicked it more. Paul. Just trying man. to be like you. Just yeah. <laughs> trying to be like you, he says. Uh, okay, I think it'd be fun. Okay, so what if we jumped it and beat the heck out of it and then use it as a jet ski scooter? Because it doesn't matter if we break the plastics and bend the forks on it. Sure. It smells like it's leaking gas. It may be. Like a lot of gas. Uh, if we bend the forks, can we get more? No. Oh, we would need the forks for the jet ski, wouldn't we? We need the whole thing <clears throat> and wheels. It's titled. Electronic wise, we don't need titled I, I, I think we need to use it for the jet ski. You think so? Yeah. It's, but, it, it's like the timing was right. Yeah. That was ABS. The problem is how long is it going to be sitting here or in my shop until yes. we do this? We'll get so many more free and better scooters. <laughs> Great. I'm going to have a jet ski and a GY6 scooter sitting in my shop for... It could be forever. Well, it could I mean, be forever, if yeah. If we you destroy it, it then it gets ri we get rid of it. But if we chop it up, we put it in that. The problem is we'll have GY6 problems in a thing that you don't want to have problems. True. <laughs> so maybe we destroy it and then we jump it and then we get... We need to take it to my house, Paul, because behind my house, there's like 30 acres of clear cut that goes deep into the you woods and hill climbs. For like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That is definitely true. <laughs> Ooh, you want a hat? I love these. You came with the bike for free. It's probably I'm offering this to you for $5. It, it's it's, it's going to fit your head. Guarantee that has crabs. Put on your head, Paul. Oh, oh gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's a, that's a good way to get Paul to shave his head. Have have <laughs> we're gonna put Paul in the bathtub and we're gonna have to delice his hair <laughs> like a child. Yeah, big old brushes. All right, well, I don't know what to do. Over the black, Dan, I got mine shaking out. I'm flying a space suit and I got a trail coming down. I was whipping like that and flames coming off the side. Oh, that's what I mean. You'll see it on Zappy's Incorporated. pipe on a spree and he's trying his hand at kind of fabricating um but i have to show you guys something pretty funny uh i will give him credit he did a good job cutting the pipe up i did some welds for him and uh i said and we're just playing with the spree it's got vp 110 ported just fun project and he made a bracket 
I'm gonna show you guys the bracket he wanted me to weld it this morning. Okay, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> I told him, do one here and then triangulate it here. He's got aluminum, aluminum, steel, steel. So this little fella thinks I can weld aluminum to steel here. Um, and then he's got a spacer of some sort back here as well. So this is actually, uh, <laughs> this is pretty funny. So Paul, so I welded a pipe up for him. Just, he threw a bunch of stuff together just to test it out, see how it works. But I said, take a piece of steel here to the pipe. And you can see it's like not even anywhere near. And I said, just triangulate it. Take one more piece from this lower mount to here, triangulate it or back here, right? It'd be strong. He takes the old aluminum mount and he wants me to weld it to the steel here. And he's got like this bolt, 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 bolt spacer. I'm like, what are you doing here? So I came in to weld it. I'm like, uh, that's not going to work. What? I like what? Why is he even doing Look at this. this pipe? Because it's free. And it was on the wall, and it'll run better than the stock one. Joe ported it, and we have it on VP110 right now. Just to see, just for fun, what you could get. Because in theory, you could probably get, you could probably get, with a carb, a pipe, ported everything, you could probably get 55 to 60 out of it, which would be pretty cool just to see what it does, just for fun. But see, I, he, so he actually cut this all up, and I let him cut it. He cut it himself. I welded it up yesterday just, just, he's having fun. And uh, just to try it out to see what it does, um, it was a kind of a last minute deal. But I came in this morning. I was like, <laughs> I'll have to explain to him. You can't weld aluminum to steel. So, so I've got this Express, which he bought brand new, which is pretty cool. And I rode it this morning, and I said it's faster than Paul's Spree. And Paul's running on VP, and he's probably got... Paul, what do you have, like, 100 hours into that bike? Uh, at least two full days. Okay, so he's got 48 hours of labor. And what he doesn't know is I slipped some VP into this bike. And I don't think he's going to smell it. Both are very slow, but I think I got him. You ready? Oh, it's slower now. I think I got him. Excuses. Let's dig some ruts. Look at this thing. Look at the throttle response. Are you out of gas? It was way faster when it was cold. She feels a little boggy now. Pretty cool though that you bought it brand new. Said it paid like $300 for it or something. It's not even gonna run now? That means I win by default. You got the switch on? Oh, wow. Wow. Let's warm up the tires a little bit. It was a lot faster when it first started. It was cold. Now it's... Oh, I still got him. Oh. Oh man. I may not beat him. I'm gonna take him off the line, but he's gonna beat me up top. This thing's pretty slow. I mean, I have to say, it, it's good for what it is. This would be cool to throw on the back of the motorhome. I think it's gotta be a short race. <laughs> Because he'll beat me if it's a long race. Oh, it's she's getting slow. All right, this is gonna be a short race, like a like a one. Yeah, yeah. To the end of what? No, it's like a mile. All right, let's go. Oh, first gear, second gear. I'm just not gonna let him get in front of me. Oh. Ah! Oh no! Oh, I thought this was so much faster. Two of the slowest scooters ever made on race fuel. This is a, this is painful. I'm not even gonna go to the end. I'm just gonna turn around right now. I'm gonna tell him that. Uh, I'm gonna tell him that I ran out of gas or something. I thought I had him. It's like it lost power. I think it's uh, a little lean. It, it does good, although I have to say, for what it is, 
um, definitely thought it was going to be a little slower than what it is, but she really winds up there when she kicks into second gear. All right, Paul, you win. I mainly did it just to grow Paul's confidence, want to uh, grow his confidence and stuff. So wanted to give him a win, see if we can start his Friday off better. <laughs> he just probably kept going. Hey, this is Brandon with Scooter Swap Shop. How you doing? Good, just letting you know I, I threw fuel on your bike and it fired right up. It runs good, so. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, I'll come in this morning and, and pay you and take that off your hands. And I want to thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. No problem. We appreciate the support. Swing on by and we'll get you all set up. Sounds great. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks. Have a good day. So you want to thoroughly test our customer's bike. Well, she was running good. And then... It was going so fast, started to get like this death wobble, and I just didn't feel like it was safe to keep going. Yeah, it was going so fast, the front wheel was like, kind of like the runner, when I'm doing like 90, and the runner is kind of like, 